you will receive a piece of paper like this. After doctor examine your chest for a couple of minutes with the device called transducer. And then it will be typed and printed on paper. This paper consists of many information about heart and its function and abnormality. There are many different types of format for Tudiaco report, but we are choosing this one, so it will be easy for us to understand. Although they all have the same information. Let's start, one by one. At first, we have MV. MV means mitral valve. Mitral valve is also known as bicuspid valve because it has to leaflets and it is situated between left atrium and left ventricle. Normal means mitral valve is anatomically normal and well-functioning. Let's see abnormality. MVP means mitral valve prolapse. A prolapsed mitral valve means that the valve's flaps do not always fit and close properly between each beat of the heart, which may cause the valve to leak blood backward through the valve back to the left atrium. This condition is called mitral valve regurgitation. MAC means mitral annular calcification. Mitral annular calcification is a chronic progressive condition involving the fibrous annulus of the mitral valve, and it is generally seen in elderly patients. Tudiaco also gives detailed information about the leaflets of mitral valve, which are anterior mitral leaflet and posterior mitral leaflet, which can be normal, thicken, or calcify. MVA means mitral valve area. The normal area of the mitral valve orifice is about 4 to 6 centimeters, and the mitral valve area goes below 2 centimeters. The valve causes an impediment to the flow of blood into the left ventricle, creating a pressure gradient across the mitral valve. This condition is called mitral stenosis that may require mitral valve repair or replacement. Next is AV. AV means aortic valve. This valve is situated between aorta and left ventricle. An abnormal aortic valve can be sclerotic or calcific, and it leads to condition called aortic stenosis. The other two valves are tricuspid valve and pulmonary valve. The tricuspid valve has three leaflets, and it is situated between right atrium and right ventricle. And pulmonary valve is situated between right ventricle and pulmonary artery. These both valves are normal in most of the cases. If patient had a valve replacement surgery, then there will be written prosthetic valve in situ, which means prosthetic valve is present in heart. Situ means present. Next is AO. AO means aorta. Aorta sends blood to all parts of the body. Normal width of aorta is less than 3 cm. More than 3 cm aorta may lead to life-threatening condition like aortic aneurysm that may lead to aortic rupture. Next is LA. LA means left atrium. The normal size of left atrium is less than 4 cm square. More than 4 cm square consider as dilated left atrium, which is not normal. Next is IAS. IAS means intra-atrium septum. It is a wall between upper to chambers of heart, left and right atrium. Intact means the wall is normal and the abnormality is ASD. ASD means atrial septal defect, commonly known as hole in a heart. Next is IVS. IVS means intraventricular septum. It is a wall between the lower to chambers of heart left and right ventricles. Intact means the IVS is normal and the abnormality is VSD. Ventricular septal defect. Between ASD and VSD, ASD is more commonly seen. The normal width of IVS should be less than 1 cm square. Next is PW. PW means posterior wall. The normal width of posterior wall is less than 1 cm. Increase in a width to posterior wall and intraventricular septum may lead to condition called LVH. Left ventricular hypertrophy, which is one of the cause of high blood pressure. Next is our WMA. In full form, it is regional wall motion abnormality. It is about the movement or motion of heart. In other words, 
it is about how fluidly the heart is pumping with help of all walls. So most common words are here is hypokinesia and akinesia. Hypo means less or decrease and kinesia means movement. So hypokinesia means decreased movement and akinesia means no movement at all. And the walls are anterior wall, posterior wall, lateral wall, inferior wall, apex and IVS. Next is LVIDD and LVIDS. LVIDD means left ventricular internal diameter and diastole. And LVIDS means left ventricular internal diameter and systole. The normal range for LVIDD is 3.5 to 5.6 centimeters. And the normal range for LVIDs is 2.0 to 4.0 centimeters. Increase in the size of these are called dilated left ventricle. Next is LVEF, left ventricular ejection fraction. LVEF represents the pumping capacity of heart. And in common words, it represents the heart health. LVEF presented in percentages. LVEF between 55 to 70% consider as normal functioning heart. More than 70% LVEF consider as hyperfunctioning heart, which is not normal. This may lead to the condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. LVEF between 40 to 55% considered as low functioning heart. And LVEF less than 40% considered as possible heart failure. But into the echo LVEF is classified as normal LV function. Fair LV function, mild LV dysfunction, moderate LV dysfunction, and severe LV dysfunction. 60 to 70 percent LVF is considered as normal LV function. 51 to 60 percent LVF is considered as fair LV function. 41 to 50 percent LVF is considered as mild LV dysfunction. 31 to 40 percent LVF is considered as moderate LV dysfunction. And LVF less than 30 percent considered as severe LV dysfunction. Next is RA and RV. Right atrium and right ventricle. These chambers are either normal or dilated. Dilated RA and RV seen in right ventricular dysfunction. Next is TAPSA. TAPSA means tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion. It is studied to determine the right ventricular systolic function. TAPSA less than 1.4 cm. Considered as right ventricular dysfunction. Next is PA. PA means pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery carries blood from heart to lungs. And the normal diameter of pulmonary artery is between 20 to 28 millimeter. Increase in the size of pulmonary artery. Consider as dilated pulmonary artery. Next is IVC. Inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava brings blood from the lower half of body to heart. The normal size of inferior vena cava is between 1 to 2 cm. Increase in the size of inferior vena cava is called dilated IVC, which suggests too much fluid in body, which happens in a condition like heart failure. Collapsed IVC suggests dehydration, and patient needs fluid replacement. Next is PPG and DAMPG. Teeth pressure gradient and mean pressure gradient. The gradient study is to determine the severity of valve stenosis, which happens in heart valve disease. The normal gradient value for mitral valve is zero, and for aortic valve it is less than five. In mild stenosis, the MPG for mitral valve is between one to five, and for aortic valve it's between six to 25. In moderate stenosis, the MPG for mitral valve it's between six to 10, and for aortic valve, it's between 26 to 50. And in severe stenosis, the MPG for mitral valve is more than 25, and more aortic valve, it's more than 50. Next is velocity. In mitral valve, the velocity during E wave should be greater than the velocity during A wave. It means the ratio of peak velocity blood flow from left ventricular relaxation in early diastole, which is E wave to peak velocity flow in late diastole caused by atrial contraction, which is A wave. And for aortic valve, 
The normal velocity is 1 in mild stenosis. It's between 2.5 to 2.9. In moderate stenosis, it's between 3 to 4. And in severe stenosis, it's more than 4. Next is regurgitation. Valve regurgitation is a condition in which the heart's valve doesn't close tightly, which allows blood to flow backward in the heart. Regurgitation can happen in mitral valve, aortic valve, and tricuspid valve. Severity of regurgitation can classified in trivial, mild, moderate, and severe. Next is RVSP. RVSP means right ventricular systolic pressure. RVSP helps to assess the pulmonary artery pressure or pulmonary artery hypertension. RVSP less than 28 consider as normal pulmonary artery pressure. RVSP between 29 to 40 considered as mild pulmonary artery hypertension. RVSP between 41 to 50 considered as moderate pulmonary artery hypertension. And RVSP more than 50 considered as severe pulmonary artery hypertension. Auxiliary, other important information from Tadiaco. First, we have effusion. It means collection of too much fluid in outer area of organ. If effusion happens in heart's outer area, it's called pericardial effusion. And if effusion happens in lung's outer area, it's called pleural effusion. Next is vegetation. Vegetation are masses composed of fibrin, platelets, and infecting organisms held together by agglutinating antibodies produced by the bacteria and generally seen on heart's valve which is seen in condition like endocarditis. And last is thrombus. Thrombus is a clot of blood cells which can present in any chamber of heart. Conclusion If the 2 Diaco report is normal, then conclusion will be look like this. Normal LV and RV function, no RWMA, normal size chambers, normal valves, no MR, AR, TR, and PH. And if to echo is not normal, then conclusion will be written according to report. Please note that this video is only made for educational purposes. Kindly consult a cardiologist before jumping into any conclusion. For many such informative video, please like and subscribe to Daily Cardiology, and please comment your views and questions regarding the video.